Welcome to Affairs in Order with Gigi. I'm Gigi, and on this channel, my husband and I will be trying to get and keep our financial affairs in order. We will be doing this by budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, and credit card debt payoff. If this sounds like something you'd enjoy, please continue watching and let's be BFFs, budgeting and financial friends. Hey, BFFs. On today's video, we will be um, budgeting for our August 11th paycheck and also we will be checking in um, for August the 1st through the 10th and then like I said we will be planning out um, our budgeting for our paycheck that's supposed to uh, be deposited the 11th. All right, let's get to checking in. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Did y'all have a good week? We got lots of storms here, lots of storms lots of damage trees down oh, power lines down i think one one person um i think a teenager lost his life from a tree falling um on his vehicle so it's been a really um stormy past couple of days so just keep that family in y'all's prayers. Um, let's check and see what bills have cleared so far. Um, the cell phone bill for 222 has cleared and tutoring has cleared. Um, our credit card that was due on the 4th has cleared and our mortgage has cleared. The credit card that was due on the 5th has cleared. And that is it for right now. Um, now let's look at our expenses. What did we <laughs> pay out a lot this past week? Um, this weekend, actually, um, on the 4th, which was Friday, we had the Waffle House, excuse me, for $26, and then on the 5th, we ate at the deli, which cannot beat two meats, I mean a meat and two veggies. And a roll or cornbread for 15 bucks. And then, um, I'm gonna flip this over this way. On the sixth, no, no, the seventh, we had Senior Garcia's, which is Mexican really really good my husband and I usually split um, our meals except for at the deli because it's so inexpensive there anyway and then on Sunday we huh, we blew the snot out of our budget with our groceries. Look at these little stickers, so cute. Um, usually we budget $150 a week. Well, 
we went over because we spent 153 at Walmart alone. Um, but I always budget more the first of the month. I think I told you guys that um, anything that's bought at Walmart, I consider pretty much groceries. So, Walmart was 153. Aldi was 46. And y'all know, I've told y'all before about my crooked stickers. And Ingalls was 21. And my husband did not get fuel this week. So he should probably fill up on the 13th. All right. And that is it for our expenses. I'm wanting to do a no spend challenge, but I have a question. Is no spend like you don't spend any money that day or can no spend include bills? I, I need to know if that's included or not. So I'm not sure about that. Um, I did buy a coffee pot because our coffee pot went out mm, and I didn't separate it from the Walmart. So $20 of this should actually be household. Mm, I'll have to remember that when I'm doing our final numbers. All right, let's get into planning our budget. We'll go back here and get our sheet. Oops. Y'all, I am having a time, there we go, with this today. Sheesh. Right. Okay. Now, this is for August. So, 8 11 2023. This is going to be my hubby's income. And it was a little less this time. Um, because he was out for a doctor's appointment and forgot to put his sick time down. So, we will be budgeting $500. And we don't have any bills due. This check. So we're going to have $500 brought down to our envelopes and in our envelopes the only thing that we will be stuffing with this is giving which gets twenty dollars so that's going to be twenty dollars twenty minus um, five hundred minus twenty is four eighty and y'all, it's hot, so I have the ceiling fan on, so it's gonna make the paper fly up a little bit. So we're gonna bring that 480 over, and we're gonna do medical. And medical's gonna get 10, and then we're gonna do um, car maintenance. Car maintenance is going to get 10. Pet care is going to get um, 20 to finish off the 100 for their groomers. So um, I'll just start stuffing just, you know, five or so bucks in this envelope now that it's got the amount in it that I need. 
and then personal. It's gonna get 20. So we got 20, 40, 50, 60. So that's $60. 480 minus 60 is 420. I'm gonna bring our 420 down and this is gonna be our extra credit card payment. Or that extra credit card debt that we have. So we're gonna put 120 in. So we've got 120. 420 minus 120 is 300. So we're going to break 300 down, and this is going to be savings challenges. We're going to put 300 into the savings challenge. 300 minus 300 leaves us zero, so that means we have a zero-based budget. Now, I did have someone in the comments um, kind of question why I was doing savings challenges if I was uh, focused on paying off debt. I understand that that you know with the with the Dave Ramsey that's why we say Dave Ramsey inspired because we are not doing the Dave Ramsey method complete we are taking aspects of that method and making it work for us paying off debt is very mentally and can be physically. But mentally, it's very hard to see the majority of your excess money going to pay off debt. And yes, that's the reason that we have debt is because of instant gratification. You know, wanting something, charging it. And the majority, and there are a lot of things that I know, well, actually, I know everything that we've put on our credit cards, but there are some things that were not necessary. So, um, I will get burnt out very quickly if I don't have something to make saving money and paying off debt fun. So, savings challenges is what does that for me. I will finish off a challenge and then I will take that money and go straight to the credit card debt. As y'all know, July, I sent a lump sum payment of $1,226 to one of our credit cards. Um, because like I said, it's an emotional thing. I am a spender by nature. Uh, my husband is definitely a saver. He can hold on to money forever. Um, I like to give gifts. I am a giving person. So therefore, I'm naturally a spender with my giving. So um, we're gonna take these savings challenges and the money that we are doing the savings challenges with. And of course, all except for Christmas. Um, and you know, put that put that money towards our our goals of getting our credit card balances down and eventually paid off. But um, that, like I said, that leaves us a zero based budget. Every dollar has a job, um, and the money, if it's in the savings challenges binder, it is not sitting in my account with me looking at it thinking, hmm, I wonder what I could do with that money. What could I buy with that money? Hmm, well, I, I could get that. Like, you know, the things that we tell ourselves, you know. So, um, that is it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them 
it's already up. Please leave them down in the um, box below. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you guys know every time I upload a video. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And until next time, friends.